gentlemen. Welcome to Harris Hall, a Harris Concert Hall. It's great to have you here tonight. Uh, this is the closing night of the Jazz Academy uh, big band and individual sessions We've been going on for the last two weeks uh, under the artistic direction of the great bassist Christian McBride, who we'll introduce in a moment. And um, before I introduce my great friend here, I want to say a couple of thank yous. First of all, it's been a, a beautiful, uh, beautiful summer season thus far with all the challenges going on. We've had a lot of great music, and we look around tonight and see a lot of familiar jazz-loving faces. I want to say a big, warm thank you from JAS to all of you. Give yourselves a round of applause for helping to keep this music going. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, and and um, in the way of thank yous, I have a particular thank you to say tonight on behalf of all of us here, um, the benefactors of this wonderful program, which is in the third of a five-year plan, and it's gotten twice as big this year with the help of these wonderful philanthropists and friends. Please thank me, help us thank Sasha and Ed Bass, who are somewhere out there. Okay, hey. And now, I want to uh, introduce you to, if you don't know, from the great, great city, the metropolis of Miami, Florida, that I know quite well, happily, uh, meet Shelley Berg, the Dean of the Frost School of Music at the University of Miami. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. As Jim mentioned, with the help of the wonderful Bass family, we, um, we've, uh, we're in the third year of our collaboration of the Frost School with Jazz Aspen Snowmaster to uh, host this academy, and I think these people on stage would say it's a pretty cool deal. Um, these are, uh, you know, I don't want to go to their heads right before they play, but these are among the most talented and brilliant young jazz artists in the world. And we bring them here um, to help them parlay that talent into a career, because the future of music is the future that musicians have and their bright futures are gonna make a better future for jazz music. So they've not only been working on music and playing together, they've been working on their stage presence and their mission statements about their artistry and how to record and edit themselves and how to put together promo materials. And I think we've given them some great templates for taking the world by storm when they leave Aspen uh, very shortly. So it's a real honor to, to um, collaborate with one of the great jazz presenters in the country and, uh, and bring our Frost School stuff into that. So we're just thrilled, and, uh, and in the years to come, these are the jazz artists that you'll be seeing coming back to perform for the Jazz Cafe. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Shelley. All right. Well, it's certainly nice to stretch out, and this is a beautiful, beautiful place. And by the way, a little trivia. Jazz Aspen did a series of shows here in the winter time before there was even a jazz cafe uh, going back. I'm, I think it, it was a long time ago. It was about 15 years ago. Um, and it's great to be back here. We haven't been here in the summertime. As you know, the sound here is warm and beautiful and what a great place to enjoy. The unbelievable arrangements and conducting of the very, very great, and I hope he's right nearby. Let's put our hands together for our great friend, the artistic director of the Jazz Academy, Christian McBride. Shelly, it is a, a great honor, as always, to be back here in Aspen. Um, the only down part about this week is that uh, usually in the, in the past I've been able to come out for up to two weeks and spend time with these magnificent players, but we've only been together since Tuesday and then only what, five, five days, five full days, uh, we've got to be a, a pretty tight-knit group and I love these guys. Um, wait till you hear them. They are going to woo you. Uh, we're going to get our performance started this evening with uh, an original composition of mine. I wrote this song 
in honor of the late great pianist, Mr. Cedar Walton. And uh, it's called The Shade of the Cedar Tree. And we got a bunch of soloists on this. I'll tell you who they are after we play it. The Shade of the Cedar Tree.
Continue with um, another original composition. You've heard us. Uh, you've heard the song with some previous big bands we've had. Uh, another original composition of mine. Uh, this. The title of the song is a prefix that James Brown will use if he really liked you a lot. Um, he often called you Mister, no matter how well he knew you. It was always Mister McBride even in the most casual of settings. But when his guard was down just a little bit, it was Brother McBride. And when his guard was all the way down, which was almost never, you got both Brother Mr. McBride. So uh, as we were backstage, uh, this was just a few months before he passed away at the Hollywood Bowl, as we were going through the song list, he was talking about something that was kind of blurted out. Ain't that right, brother, Mr. McBride? And he didn't know that I knew how big that prefix was. So I just like, oh, I got the double prefix. So this song is called Brother Mr.
Joe Block on the piano. Joe. Matt Encontro on the soprano saxophone. Yes. Marissa Sweets Webster on the trumpet. Sweets Webster. Thank you very much, that was Brother Mister. Uh, let's see, our next piece of music was um, arranged by Mr. Sam Keedy, who is one of our trombone players. Not only do we have some great section players, great soloists, but as you will hear throughout this performance, there's some really good writers and arrangers in this band. So this is uh, Sam's arrangement of Almost I Loved.
almost I love. Sam Keeney with the arrangement, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Varun Das on the drums. Yes. Matt Encontro one more time. Yes. Thank you. We now like to continue with a song that was composed by the late great trumpet king, Mr. Freddie Hubbard. Uh, he wrote this song as a member of Art Blakey and the Jazz Messengers in the early 60s. And um, this is, uh, I've, I've heard most trumpet players say that uh, they kind of don't like playing the song because Freddie wrote this like impossible lick that, well, it, it, it was a great story that uh, Nat Adderley, uh, in a blindfold test in Downbeat Magazine, said about this song that Freddie Hubbard is the only trumpet player in the world who doesn't realize that that's not supposed to be played on the trumpet. <laughs> so with that, this is Freddie Hubbard's Thermo.
Dylan McCann on the tenor saxophone. Let's hear it for Dylan. Austin Ford on the trumpet. Give my man Jesse Katz a little bit. Jesse Katz on the bass. And Joe Block one more time on the piano. It's hard um, to hear that song and not just remember getting to play that song with Freddie Hubbard. Now, it's, that, that's, that melody is slick enough, but if you ever saw Freddie Hubbard play, like, he moved his head a lot, which is, I, I thought, a no-no for trumpet players. Freddie would play like, he's <laughs> like, how was he doing all of that with his head flopping back and forth like that? Every note would be perfect. And, he would just look around after the solo, and you could just see his face was like, you wish you were me, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Freddie was something else, man. Now, we have a very special treat for you. We are going to bring out our incredible vocalist, who was uh, from the Frog School, and she's gonna come out here and do a couple of numbers for you and sweep you off your feet. Miss Amy Azara, ladies and gentlemen. You feel 
is when I fall in love with you. Thank you so much. The next tune that we will be performing for you is um, a beautiful tune entitled The More I See You. Each time I look at you, it's like the first time Each time you're near me The thrill is new And there is nothing that I wouldn't do for The mere of you Now this feeling, it just grows and grows With every sigh, I become more mad about you More lost without you And so it goes The more I see you As years go by I know the only one for me Can only be you My heart won't free you My arms won't try More lost without you And so it goes Can you imagine Just how much I love you The more I see
this dude here, I, I would say back up a few rows, because uh, he's, he's about to get it in. Uh, this is an original composition of mine. Again, another one uh, inspired by Mr. Brown, Mr. James Brown. This is uh, based off of his song called Get It Together. And this is called Get To It.
ladies and gentlemen. Oh, it's something else. Brother Joseph Miller. Let's hear from Joseph. Also known as Little Maceo. And uh, let's see, we got Lee Morgan and Blue Mitchell back there. Austin Ford and Camilo Molina. Now we'd like to play an old standard for you, something I arranged for my big band quite some time ago. Uh, and if you don't mind, I'm gonna play this one. This is called Broadway.
today's session, ladies and gentlemen. Eli Kadosh, Jesse Katz, Gavin Gray. Let's hear it for him, ladies and gentlemen. Bass section. Broadway, we hope you enjoyed that. Um, as I mentioned earlier, we have some really great arrangers in this band, and this next piece of music you will hear uh, was composed by none other than Thelonious Monk, and it was arranged by our wonderful pianist, Mr. Joe Block. So, Joe, the floor is yours, my friend. Joe Block's arrangement of Ruby, My Dear. Thank you so much. So Ruby, Ruby was Monk's first love, Ruby Richardson, and uh, he wrote this tune in 1947, and it's one of my favorite ballads to play on piano. And um, took a little bit of a appro different approach to arranging it for the big band. You're gonna hear it's a little bit of a jazz waltz. It's a little bit faster than Monk plays it, but that's why it's an arrangement. You know, I get to take risks like that. So this is gonna feature Camilo Molino on the trumpet. Thank you so much, Ruby, my dear. Thank you. 
Joe Block, ladies and gentlemen. And if you go to uh, YouTube, you can hear the Jazz and Lincoln Center Orchestra playing that very arrangement. Wonderful, wonderful. Let's see, what do we have next? Yes, uh, we're going to play a song that was composed by the late great uh, innovator of modern jazz guitar, Mr. Wes Montgomery. This is called Full House.
Hello, everyone. I am going to be singing um, Mr. Joe Block's arrangement of The Nearness of You.
My name is Brian Lawrence, um, and it's an honor to get to conduct this next tune. This is a piano player named Herbie Hancock. Uh, he wrote a tune called Driftin' when he was about the same age as all of us. And this is actually a reharmonization, and so I took the original changes and did something kind of unique and fun with it, um, with the advice of Mr. McBride and many others, and we're looking forward to playing it. This is going to feature Wyatt Forham on the bass trombone. Yeah! Yeah. <laughs> Michael Gutierrez on the trumpet. Joe Block on the piano, and our wonderful saxophone section. This is Drifting. I hope you enjoy.
Brian Lawrence, ladies and gentlemen. We have uh, come to that time, ladies and gentlemen, where we must say so long, but before we play our final number, uh, I want to thank all of you immensely for coming out this evening because uh, I, I'm still not sure that people understand who has been a part of this program over the last 20 plus years. Uh, I know oftentimes when you know people say, oh, it's a student concert. Oh, can we hear the students? Students, you know. Like as in, you know, not yet professionals don't quite know what they're going to do with their careers. No, what you're looking at are a bunch of incredible young professionals who you're going to be paying a lot more to see in a couple of years. So I thank you for making the investment in these fantastic young professionals. Uh, what I'd like to do is uh, I would like all of you in the back to come to the front. Uh, Amy Azara, will you come back out, please? That's right. I want to I want to make this quick because I know we gotta we gotta get out of here. But I want you to state your name, your hometown, and your school. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Oh here. Hello everyone. Thanks again for being here. No, uh, what's your name? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. My name is Josh Califf. I'm a Dallas, Texas native and I just graduated from the University of North Texas. Hi, my name is Varun Das. I'm from Edison, New Jersey, and I attend Manhattan School of Music. Jersey! Hi, my name is Joe Block. I'm from the great city of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and I, uh, I attend the Juilliard School in New York. My name is Gavin Gray. Um, I'm from West Hartford, Connecticut, and I attend the Eastman School of Music in Rochester, New York. Hi, my name is Jesse Capps. I grew up in Williamsburg, Virginia, and I just graduated from the University of Miami. My name is Camilo Molina. I am from Northport, Florida, and I attend the Pro School of Music. My name is Marissa Webster. I'm from Jacksonville, Florida, and I just graduated from Temple University in Philadelphia, PA. Hello, everybody. My name is Michael Gutierrez, and I'm from Clovis, California. I'm sure everybody knows where that is. No. Um, and I'm attending the University of Miami. Hello, everybody. My name is Austin Ford. I'm originally from Portland, Oregon, and I just graduated from the University of North Texas. My name is Andrew Sumabat. I'm from Seattle, Washington, and I just graduated from the University of Washington. Hi, everyone. My name is Jocelyn Perales. I'm from Oakland, California, and I'm attending the Juilliard School. Yeah. Sam Keedy, Greeley, Colorado, Frost School of Music. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. My name is Wyatt Forehand. I'm from St. Louis, Missouri, and I attend Michigan State University. My name is Joseph Cherryham. I'm from Houston, Texas. I just graduated from the University of North Texas. Hello, everybody. My name is Evan Kappelman. I'm from Olympia, Kansas, and I currently attend Temple University. Hello, my name is Joseph Miller. I'm from Miami, Florida, and I attend Manhattan School of Music. I'm Matt Contro. I'm from Buffalo, New York, and I just graduated from the Houston School of Music. Dylan McCann. I'm from St. Petersburg, Florida, and I attend the Frost School. Hi, my name is Eli Perlman. I'm from Tel Aviv, Israel, and I attend the Berkeley College of Music. Hey, my, my name is also Eli, Eli Kadol. I'm from Israel, Tel Aviv, and I'm going to study in the new school in my second year. 
Hi, I'm Marcello Cardillo. I come from Napoli, Italy, and I study at Manhattan School of Music in New York. Uh, hello, my name is Brian Lawrence. I'm from Bellevue, Washington, just like just right outside Seattle, and I'm graduating next week with my master's degree from the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. My name is Amy Azera. Um, I am from Rochester, New York, and I attend the University of Miami. I want you to give a huge round of applause to all of these fantastic musicians. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Stand up, take a bow, y'all. Before we play this last song, I'd like to invite an alum of the uh, Jazz Aspen Summer Academy. Uh, Mr. Gregory Newman is back there. Greg, where you at? Come on out. This last song is an original composition of mine called In a Hurry. Um, I'm not quite sure who's going to solo. I think kind of everybody's going to get a little bit. This is In a Hurry. Thank you very much. Right. Had I stayed at Julia, I would have been class of 93. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Aspen Summer Academy. Let's hear it for these fantastic musicians, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Christian McBride. We thank you so much for your support. Thank you for coming out this evening. We will see you again soon. Thank you.